Bob Babbitt here at Challenge Laguna Phuket, our championship edition of Breakfast with Bob, and our champion from Denmark, Mr. Rasmus Petraeus. Rasmus, we chatted the other day. It was really the first time I got a chance to meet you. Congratulations on an amazing race. Did you surprise yourself? Yeah, it was an amazing race. You know, it's I was so surprised. Uh, and I know I can do this when I'm when everything works, but I've really tried to to get it to work. And but today was, you know, one of those times where I just you go and you're, you just keep going and going and going, and you, you never really have this uh, crisis where you have to work with yourself. At the end, it was quite hard, but I felt with all this environment and all the people and it's it's been such a great, great week and I had so much energy from from this week and you know looking forward to the off season and that's I'm so happy it's, it's amazing <laughs> well when you, you you mentioned that you surprised yourself on the bike that you're riding the bike better than you thought you could ride what what was the difference you know last week I was as well in the front uh, on, on the swim and, yeah. and on, on the bike, I, I quickly dropped off Alberto, of course, because we had the hills in the beginning. But this time, I was, I just tried to, to keep my own pace. But I was, you know, I was in the front a lot of the time, and that was I was really surprised, and uh, that I could keep this really good rhythm and really good pace, and still lead the uh, the three of us. It was amazing, and it just. It's better than I thought, you know. I thought uh, my bike was uh, really bad, but uh, there's definitely something a lot to improve, you know. It's to to, to move up uh, with the, to the next level, but yeah. but I'm surprised that I can do this and uh, on this point this point of the season where uh, you know everybody's kind of already holiday mood and yes. and we had they had a race last week which didn't go so well, and so I'm so glad that it turned out really good. I, I needed that. When I saw you at uh, about the halfway mark of the run, it was only a minute uh, separating you and the two Albertos. Yeah. Were you concerned? Uh, nah, not really, because we, we started out together, and, and after 1K, Alberto, yeah. number two, he uh, passed me, and I quickly overtook him again, because uh, today I had the mental game to be in the front. That's, you know, the mental advantage, uh, what I like, even though it's sometimes it's, it's easier to, to just keep following but today I uh, I just felt like going and pushing and trying myself and it worked and so the last five Ks it was hard but I knew he was uh, to catch one and a half minute or so the last four five K he needed to run fast because I was still going sub four minutes per K. Now you've won races before you won in your home country how how big a race is this is this would you look at this the biggest win of your career so far? Yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's been, I've had some really tough years going up and down, and I think I really uh, kind of broke broke the code. Uh, I had one win, uh, like the other race I did in Wahe, and the yeah. second second win in three races since I, I, I switched. And that's just, it's, it's, um, it's always, when you do it first time, it's really good. When you do it second time, it's even better because that... that Validates. Exactly. It mean, it, it, yeah. It makes you, so then you know that you can do it and it's not just luck. So you mentioned that you learned a lot this week from talking to the other guys. It's yeah. being sort of an off-season, almost off-season race. People seem to chat more and you know, they'll put their guard down a little bit. What did you learn from the other guys, from talking to Mac or some of the other guys? Uh, you know, coming from the short circuit, the Olympic circuit, it's it's always really you know you have everybody so focused and it's like it's, it's so intense. And this during the week, people are spending time together. We went, I went with Tamsin and Till on a, on a scooter ride. Yeah. We had some fun and just going out eating, and it's just such a you know familiar environment. And and that's when I perform the best and when you feel the best because. That's why you do it. It's because it's you, you love it and you love to be around these people. And I really, I am the youngest guy, and I still need to learn a lot. But I'm so happy that the guys they took me in and and you know talking to Mac, talking talking to Pete Jacobs. That's those guys are in a different league, and and I know they are all season. They uh, Pete did, he did uh, Hawaii, and it's just chatting with these guys, being like. <laughs> sit at the same table, have the same food. It's yeah. 
that's that's when you know you are part of the the Triton family exactly You're part of a fraternity of and that's athletes. and that's really nice not to uh, that's not like the the guys they don't they don't act like they are like foot like for example football players they are you know there's a big difference from the best to the second best but this is just everybody learns from everybody and everybody's just trying to do their best and have fun and I really enjoy that because it's so much so many emotions in, in racing and so you need to have you need to feel good when you are when you're around these people because you're gonna be around them I'm gonna be around these guys for the next the yeah next 15 years yeah, hopefully yeah exactly yeah. so it's really nice to be taken so good care of already now and and now that I show that I can do it I you know it maybe give me a little bit more respect so they come to me and, and ask me maybe I can learn some <laughs> swimming tricks you know <laughs> When you're when you're in a race like this and you've got athletes from all over the world, and, that, and then you you mentioned that you were casual all week. You didn't, you know, you, you weren't. The intensity wasn't there, and you performed well. So do you learn from that and go, okay, no matter how intense the race is, I know for me to perform well, I need to look at it as, hey, it's just another race. It's just another day. Exactly. Yeah, and and I I know that I need to be relaxed and and need to to be in an environment which which makes me happy to perform. With too much pressure and too much tense, I can't handle that. Some people can handle that, but I can't. And and you know, once once again, this this race, I I saw that that's how it's going to be, and I just know that. That's how it's gonna be. When I'm, yeah. I, I need to do good. I need to have people around me who, who do it for me and likes me and, right. and not uh, wanna do bad to me. You know, you know what it is. You know, exactly. it's it's not a hostile environment. It's need to be. A, it needs to be in a familiar environment. A lot of times, and we've seen it over the years from Pete Jacobs to Maca. A lot of times, other people believe in you before you believe in you. And when you have a performance like this, that sort of helps you understand what people have seen in you. Yeah. Well, I. I as I said when we had the interview the other day, I know that I can do good, and and so I I, I start to believe in myself, especially in, on this circuit because I can control it. You know, in, in, in on this Olympic distance, I was always when we when we got to the run, I was done, and that's that's not fun to know before you begin. Yeah, uh, everything can happen, especially in a weather like this, and coming from Denmark such a different environment uh, you know the weather the heat I've been training on my uh, tr on my spinner to, to get some heat yes. adaption and that's it uh, but it seems that I can handle the heat and that's just uh, that's a good experience as well you know to that you can handle the, the, uh, the heat because I like I love the heat right it's <laughs> interesting is people always talk about how important it is to come from hot areas but if you think about it Peter Reed won Ironman. He's from Canada. Yeah. Luke Van Leer from or Lude from Belgium. It's not necessarily where you're from, if or else people from Brazil would win Ironman every year. It's a matter of how you deal with it. Yeah, ex exactly, exactly, and and as well, I I think it's about know your limits as, as well. Of course, you can you can sometimes overdo it, but I know I couldn't start out doing 320 uh, in the beginning. Yeah. I know I had to be around. Right now, 340, 345, and then I, I went a little bit down in the, in the at the end. Yeah. And that's I think it's really about knowing your limits and and trying to because the five first five caves is always easy. It's like walking sure. the park. Yeah. So, you know, I'm happy that I've come so far, and I'm, I'm looking so much forward to to learn more and have more races and and enjoy more of these uh, awesome series. And what are you, 24? 24. 24-year-old Challenge Laguna Phuket champion, Mr. Rasmus Petraeus. Again, triathlete.com. My name is Bob Babbitt. This is Breakfast with Bob, Championship Edition. Our champion. Congratulations, man. Thank you.